Welcome to Steve Knows. Today we are previewing the Light Brigade, and if you are into your history, it is not related to the charge of the Light Brigade, even though it has weaponry from an older period. This title is releasing on the 22nd of February and has a discount available for pre-order. The pre-order though is not a negative sign here, not like Grid. This game is a beauty. Light Brigade is a roguelike title that will punish you. You will die a lot. I'm not sure why, but this game felt completely different from when I first played it to a few runs later, more so than any other game I've experienced. I was ready to write this game off, but then it just clicked, and then battling in its procedurally generated worlds, so it's different every single time, became incredibly fun. There is so much nuance to this title. Oh, glad I could be a dab hand sometimes. That was. So you have different classes that will provide you different weaponry, such as a rifle, a machine gun, dual wield pistols. There's even magic in this game, and this will change your style of play. This game is incredibly tough, which made it really rewarding once I had improved. You have to be aware of things such as the weight of your weaponry, because it has physics-based gunplay, the change in speed that you have when you're holding your gun with both hands, so getting used to releasing it when you want to avoid oncoming fire. You have a teleport slash dash that can be used, even when you're looking down your weaponry sights. There are manual reloads that are different per weapon. You even find loot from downed enemies or smashing boxes or opening crates that are dotted around the map. There are also items that will assist you in battle like decoy, health, weaponry attachments to change your weapon's abilities. The list goes on and on and discovering each of these elements was part of the fun. And once you've got an understanding for the pace of the game, this is such a fantastic VR experience. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> that was close. There is a souls element to this where you will collect souls and purify them, which in turn levels up your rank to unlock things. But if you die, you will come back as your soul and you have to go back to your body before you die again or it's game over. To ensure that you survive though, you'll have to conserve your ammo, as you don't come across ammo drops very often. So you should definitely pick up enemy weapons, try to get headshots, and activate traps that you find around the map as often as possible to save every bullet. Bring the pistol out. I love it, it's just a cheeky little double tap, that's all it takes. Oh! See, what was that? Oh, the trap got set off. There are also tarot cards as you progress, so you will find additional perks to improve your abilities, such as critical hits improvement, magical damage, defense perhaps, or even giving your weapon another ability for a tactical advantage. So choose these cards wisely. As you progress and go through different terrains and landscapes, you will end up facing a boss. I still have not managed to get past the very first icy bitch. It is so incredibly tough and you have to keep on the move, but that's part of this game's charm. You try and die, you try and die, and just for giggles, you try again. So enough chin wagging, let me show you some of the gameplay. This is the Light Brigade releasing on the 22nd of this month. Please consider subscribing to the channel and let's get started. So this is the Light Brigade. I think it is aptly named after the horrific event, which is called the Charge of the Light Brigade. Some of you may know that, where a bunch of soldiers got absolutely mowed down within a valley um, using automatic weaponry. 
to humanity's last hope, a flame blowing in the wind. So the Light Brigade has got nothing to do with what I was talking about. <laughs> Forgive me there. But I like the way they're delivering the story. It reminds me of how old school RPGs would just be subtitles, imagery, but this is in 3D, there's angles, there's uh, animated elements. Uh, it's quite nice, it fits the style of play that I really enjoy playing. Oh, the walking pace! It's quite nippy. I don't know if anyone's seen it, but that flame reminds me of British gas. Oh, I have the ability to teleport as well. I'm like, I want to go a bit faster. You get your own little British gas avatar. Ooh. I've been making record level profits all year. Heat your home. British gas. Ooh, there's a bit of weight to it. Like, it, you can see where the, the center of gravity is and it's leaning the gun forward. That's cool. Right, plop that in. Open the door, says Steve Knows. And thus, the door opened. Hello there. How can I help you, Steve 2.0 sideburns? Oh gosh, my mother wants me. That can only mean one thing. Dishes. Thanks for letting me know, William. Dangerous to go alone, but you've got no choice. Why is everybody blonde? Do they know I was playing? Is this quest watching me? It's not my finest hour. You there, within the smoke, with your eye gleaming. Oh, I was—I clearly shot you. There's a freaking boulder in the way. Again, trapped. Gosh, I really need to keep a blimmin' eye out for those. Ooh! Health! So you can find them. That, that filled me up as well. Okay, we have enemy kill. 10% threshold. Oh shit. Crikey, I was just trying to get away from it all. Gotcha. Right, next one. Gotcha. Who else is there? Gotcha. Sweet, area cleared, with five health to go. Gosh. Um, I need to go back and look at the other pot, because I am desperate. Nothing. Sweet, headshots do extra damage. Good to know, but this is a rifle. Okay, so you want to. It's in your it's in your best interest to pick up the weapons that they drop as well. Ooh, something else is there. Shite. Can I do wield? Oh! Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> that was close.